Richard Southern joins us now. Richard, the weekend is here, happy and that Friday. means many happy Friday. Uh, we'll be going out for a drink or two to celebrate. Yes. Why not? Yes. I say, why not? Uh, you know, it's the news you want to hear on a Friday, Erica. A new British study has found those who have a pub in their neighborhood are happier and better connected. Would you agree with that? I think so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, uh, it turns out 50% uh, of bar goers. Uh, report making at least one friend in their neighborhood watering hole, Erica. Uh, almost one in three say they've made uh, three or more friends. Even if they're bar flies, I guess they're making friends. Right, Erica. yeah. Uh, this was particularly true among beer drinkers. Many, though, take an issue with the, uh, the bar bill. 56% right now feel a pint is too pricey. Do keep in mind alcohol abuse, a growing problem. A study just last month found ER visits here in Ontario up dramatically for alcohol issues, particularly among young women, Erica. You know so, what? It is nice. You do get it to talk to people, and I think it's nice to talk to, to people like that. But you Absolutely. Gotta, you have to be careful, though, too. Exactly, yes. And, uh, you know, when I moved to a different city, I would often do that, go and socialize and, and make new friends that way. Yeah. So, agreed. All right, if you're planning a picnic this weekend, you always have to keep an eye out for those pesky <laughs> seagulls. They're aggressive downtown, they? are aren't very they? aggressive. They, they know what they're doing. They're coming for that hot dog. Dag Nabbit, and apparently this is, uh, this is a big problem for a lot of people. I don't get out enough. I know this hasn't been a big issue for me, but... What? Yeah, no, I mean, uh, you know... I, uh, They'll not, swoop right in there, Richard. I, that's what you I gotta heard. protect uh, your food. Experts say, though, uh, you know, there's nothing to lay an egg over. Just cast an eye the bird's way the next time this happens. Researchers say the secret for, to protecting your food is to stare down <laughs> the seagull. Yes. Experiment. Is this, this is this is uh, scientific. Evidence. Apparently, they have nothing else to study right now. <laughs> Let's forget cancer. We're going to study this. Uh, and it demonstrated, though, that the gulls were uh, very cautious about approaching you if you were staring directly at them, uh, Erica. Not just seagulls. Other studies have found that uh, other other animals uh, change their behavior when humans look at them. No, we got AIDS and everything going on, but we're just gonna we're gonna do this. Do you know what? Now that you've told me this, though, I have to try it. I have to try and stare down a seagull Everyone's and see gonna if, be who's like, going to win. What's wrong with Erica? She's just staring at that seagull for half an it's, hour. It's, it's a study. It's a social study. Tourists <laughs> are scratching their heads outside one of Rome's most famous attractions. Yeah, so if you're planning a trip to Rome this summer, you got to see the Spanish Steps. One yes. of the big things to do, right? But no dice if you're looking to take a load off. You're going to have to keep on walking. Rome has outlawed sitting or lying on the steps, Erica. Oh, no. Yes, to try and preserve them. The steps are actually a UNESCO protected monument. They spent millions restoring them. Uh, if you ignore the rule and uh, have a sit, you could be facing a fine up to 500 bucks. Italy's really cracking down on all this sort of stuff. Uh, swimming has been banned in the Trivoli Fountains. Uh, Florence has banned eating on the streets. Most recently, Venice stopped letting big cruise ships dock in the historic city center. Uh, you, we're not old enough here in Toronto to have similar rules. We wouldn't say, you know, don't sit down in uh, majestic young Dundas Square right. for, for fear of ruining it. <laughs> do you know what, though? I, I do walk a lot when I'm, you know, in a different city and I'm, you know, go, going around to see True. the attraction. So I can see myself accidentally maybe sitting down on the steps. I hope I don't get a fine of $500 for doing big that. Ones. That is a big fine. Those one. Euro conversions aren't, uh, aren't cheap, Erica. <laughs> oh, man. Well, Richard, thank you very much. Have a great weekend.